What is wrong with Tanya? Tanya, 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 You've been going to those parties where girls do oral sex for bracelets. That's right. <gasps> That's right. She goes to those parties which are a real thing. Good work, Mary Jo. You won a Volvo filled with groceries. It's your old pal, Mr. Robinson. So much has changed since we last spent some time together. My neighbor has gone through so much. It's gone through something called gentrification. <laughs> it's like a magic trick. White people pay a lot of money and then poof, all the black people are gone. <laughs> but where do they go, boys and girls? Back to where they come from, of course. Atlanta. As Gerald reached breeding age, he became less focused, uh, agitated. His natural drive was distracting him from our work. You know, when a dolphin reaches sexual maturity, there's no stopping them. And then one day I was in the water with Gerald when he got that glassy look in his eye that meant he was having an urge, so to speak. And so I turned to Mary and I said, uh, why don't I just yank him off real quick? <laughs> just like that. Hey, okay, how are you guys tonight? We're great. <laughs> this place is so peaceful. You must love living here. Oh, it's peaceful? It's peace peaceful here in your ocean front resort? Because my brother and I here live 15 miles inland, yeah. There's a rusty pickup truck with weeds growing out of it. Yeah, that's okay. our house. So, s since you're holding a detached but animated head, do you ever use it, like, to, you know? <laughs> to what? Do you, do you use it, you know, like, on yourself? You wanna come visit? It's real easy to get to. You just drive through the shantytown, make a right at the meth lab, and you'll see a 15-year-old girl who got pregnant by an out-of-town businessman. Then ask for her brother. That's me. Oh, hi. Well, it's that time again, everybody. It's Easter. Let's see what's in our Easter basket. <laughs> this, this is a plush bunny rabbit. I call him Glenny after Glenn Close. What? What on earth are you talking about? No, it's, it's, okay, look, I've been trying to do it to myself with my regular attached head. I tried yoga and I tried stretching. I even had the town doctor remove two of my ribs. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, says the man holding a severed head. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. Look how you're holding the head. The mouth is already like right there. Let's meet today's kid testants. Hey there, aren't you a cutie pie? Thanks. What's your name? Vicky. Oh, and how old are you, Vicky? I'm 10. Oh, you're getting all grown up, aren't you? Sure I am. <laughs> well, I wish you a lot of luck in today's game. Thank you. Mwah. <laughs> Honestly, I've never thought about it. Well, it would have been my first thought. Right after, oh my God, they chopped off my head, I would have pivoted to, huh? Possible silver lining here. <laughs> It's like they always say, when life hands you a severed head, you put the mouth on your dingus. <laughs> now it's just me by myself now. Y'all probably wondering how Mr. Robinson can afford to live in this fancy neighborhood. Well, that's the word of the day. <laughs> Squatter's rights. It's like finders keepers, but for other people's houses. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next contestant. Hi there, what's your name? Sandy. Sandy, well now that's a very pretty name. How old are you, Sandy? I'm 11. Oh, 11, so you're just a little bit older than the other girl here, huh? Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh, you made my day, Sandy. Tanya, your English teacher caught you cheating, so he made you take naked pictures, and now they're online, and it's given you an eating disorder, and also you can't read. <laughs> Jojo! You're in the lead with five fleece ponchos for jogging. Oh, look here. This is a Cadbury egg. I gave these up for Lent last year. You know what I gave up this year? Cocaine. <laughs> Almost. Ichabod! I came as soon as I could. Oh, how brave. You came to rescue me, William? No. I wanted to ask the horseman some questions. And, uh... You know, on yourself. Oh, uh, he already, already asked, asked that. that. Ah. Asked that. 
great minds. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, follow up to my thing. Do you, like most men in our era, have, you know, false, removable teeth? Because that could feel really good if you got... I have real teeth! Ah, bummer. A way to express your feelings than Hallmark. Because every mother is special. But your mother is most special of all. Because it's you in a dress. Introducing the Hallmark Mother Collection. For weirdos. Because you're not just a good son, you're also a wonderful mother. Next up we have Roger. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. Ah, uh, my, my, my. What a great group we have today. Can I have another kiss? Yeah. <laughs> First, I wasn't sure it was ethical, but we had to for the science. So I did it. Hey! Right away, you know, it was clear as a bell, and we were able to quickly get back to our work. Yeah. And so it became part of our routine. You know, we would work a while, yank a while, work a while, yank a while, and then a tug or two, and then teach a dolphin to speak. Look at this. Santa. What's this little turkey doing in here? <laughs> we got a word for you. Attention whore. Hey. Hi, guys. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, um, my name is Roy, and, uh, I, um, and for the most evil invention in the world contest, I invented a, uh, a child molesting robot. <laughs> Who is it? It's Damien and Mika from 7F. Damien and Mika are my new neighbors. They paid $1.2 million for an apartment where Mr. Robinson's friend Frankie used to cook crack. Could you, could you tilt the head so that you can make eye contact? Like if someone wanted that, I mean. No! I mean, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But why would anyone want that? No, personal connection. Oh, power. Power for me. And for our Jewish friends, this is unleavened bread. Which means, unlike Jesus, it doesn't rise. This week, Outside the Lines obtained practice videos showing exactly how far she has gone to motivate her players. Cursing at them. Throwing basketball. Shooting t-shirt guns. Throwing bricks at them. Threatening them with a baseball bat. While they were on roller skates. When you uh, when your throat got cut, did it uh, happen to sever the gag reflex? <laughs> okay, now I'm sending you both to hell. Hey, why send us to hell when you could send yourself to heaven? For players to serve her meals. Where's the bread? Where is the bread? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll speak up. Uh, it's a robot that is designed to molest children. And uh, I call it uh, Robo Chomo. Uh, you see, it's powered by solar rechargeable fuel cells and it costs pennies to manufacture. Uh, and it can, theoretically, uh, molest twice as many children as a human molester in, quite frankly, half the time. One last contestant to meet, a sweet little girl from the Detroit area. What is your name? It's Janelle. <laughs> Go away! Why? Why? You know why. Janelle, what's wrong? A whole lot of stuff. All of it. Janelle, I have been doing this show for 15 years and everybody loves it. All game show hosts kiss their contestants. Hey, Mr. Robinson, sorry to bother you. Um, we ordered a new 72-inch Samsung TV, and they said it was delivered, but it's not in the lobby. And we were wondering if you knew anything about that? Don't worry, boys and girls. Mr. Robinson knows just what to say in situations like this. Oh, you think I stole your TV because I'm black? <laughs> no. Okay, how about a hug instead? How about you go hug a weed whacker? Roger, do you want to give me Janelle's hug? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, and how about an end of hug kiss? Yeah. <laughs> oh, great job, kids. Oh, yeah, look at this. Here's a marshmallow peep. I coughed this up whole this morning. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. Move to our lightning round. Joe Beth, Mary Jo, you may watch the rest of the game while you pretend to rake leaves. <laughs> All right, let's get you on your mark here. Oh, you're hurting my arm. Who's gonna believe you? I'm sorry we gave you that impression. Yeah, and we'll get out of your hair. Yeah, we are so sorry. If you see the TV, let us know. Oh, and we'd love for you to come to our holiday party. No, no, I don't want to come to your damn holiday party. <laughs> Can you believe the nerve of them boys and girls? There's a special word for that. For a while, the progress was astounding. He learned the alphabet. A. We were able to teach him sign language. Yes, but soon he started to regress, really only doing a few signs, uh, the signs for hand, and now, and who gonna J me O? Fish. Water. Hey, Portia. What's your chick doing? Mm, I think he's hungry. Eat your McNugget. Wow. <laughs> this kid has all the warning signs. Hey, come on! William! Did you ask the horseman y about Yes, it? yes. We're like, we're way into it. <laughs> then I have a question that's gonna seem weird on several levels. But is the head dishwasher safe? What are you talking about? I'm just curious about cleanup. Which one of these is not one of Columbus's ships? Is it the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria, or the De Charles? Yes, Roger. The Nina. Oh, I'm sorry, Roger. That is incorrect. Oh, Roger, are you, are you upset? Yeah. Oh, well, you know you tried your best. No, no, I get that, but listen, so, all right, it's an open neck, right? So he could probably just drink a glass of water after you do it, you know, and it's just like, wow, it all falls out. Yeah, you could, you could probably go in through the neck, too. That's uh, a whole new experience. Uh, uh, <laughs> you feel better now? Almost. Mm -hmm. There we go. This took up most of the time, almost seven to eight hours of the day. Later, I suggested a way of working as a team, so to speed up the process. When she was the hand, I would wait outside the door, I would count to 20, and I would bust in and say, who's doing nasty things in here? Bad Gerald. Gerald really liked shame. And this was good, of course, for the science. And this is a chocolate bunny. It's actually hollow. Some people like the solid ones, but then, how'd you get your little wiener in there? How do you even build a child molesting robot? Well, that's a, um, that's a great question. What you do is you start by building a regular robot, uh, then you molest it and hope that it continues to, uh, the cycle. Tanya had a baby at prom. No! She named the baby Tanya. Yes. Congrats, Mary and Joe, Beth, Jojo. You win everything a woman could ever want. Uh, but whatever happened to Tanya? She died. Oh, well. Thanks for having me. You're not going anywhere. You'll never leave me. That's our show. <laughs>